So I've been reading through your comments and I found some really interesting ones and it's obvious you guys want more videos about good jobs for introverts. And as an introvert myself who had an unconventional upbringing and then went to pharmacy school, life has taught me the importance of finding work that truly fits who you are. And today we're gonna be diving into the 13 highest paying remote jobs that are perfect for introverts. And they're perfect for those of you who would rather eat glass than make water cooler small talk. And as someone who's gone through sleeping in a car to making six figures online, I'm here to show you some seriously cool opportunities that will let you thrive without draining your social battery. And these are jobs that are going to be high paying and they're going to be jobs that are relatively easy to get into. So first up on the list is a content writer. And if you have a way with words, this could be your calling. He has such a way with words. Companies need engaging content and you can create it without being a social butterfly. And content writers make about $60,000 a year. And here are the top skills that you'll need to succeed in this role. First of all, you want to nail down the basics, grammar, spelling, and punctuation. Your writing should be clear, concise, and engaging, and you should structure your articles with a solid intro, meaty body paragraphs, and a satisfying conclusion. And you can become a research pro by looking into reliable sources, analyzing info from multiple angles, and always fact checking in order to keep your content on point. And then you can learn to write for different audiences and platforms and figure out which one you can specialize in. And that way you can tail your tone and style to various niches and industries. And that's what makes you super valuable as a content writer when you understand the niche or industry that you're writing about. And then you can start generating fresh ideas and unique angles to make your content stand out from the crowd. And a fun fact is I actually started out as a content writer before becoming a YouTuber. And it's how I discovered my love for remote work and eventually transitioned from my pharmacy career to full-time content creation. And speaking of transitions, if you're finding value in this journey I'm sharing, why not make a quick transition of your own from passive viewer to active supporter? If you're enjoying this content so far, give this video a quick like. Next is going to be software developer, and this is for those who are fluent in computer languages. And the demand for skilled coders has always been very high, and it's still high to this day. And most of the work is very independent. And the average salary, a whopping $101,000 a year. Who needs human interaction when you can talk to computers all day long and make bank by doing it? As a software developer, you need to think about algorithms. Break problems down, then plan solutions. Master one language's basics, for instance, variables loops, functions, basically just make them second nature. And learn Git. Seriously, just do it. Do it you'll thank yourself later. And also learn how to utilize AI in your coding. For instance, Claude is incredible for coding. And by the way, if you think that software development is only for math geniuses or coding prodigies, well, you're in luck because this comprehensive course actually transforms beginners into job ready developers with potential first year earnings of 70,000 plus dollars a year, regardless of your background. And you can check out the free training for this down in the description and the pinned comment below. That's right, a lot of these skills and a lot of these jobs you can actually learn completely completely free on the internet. There's amazing free training out there and you don't even have to get a college degree or get a certification. Next is going to be graphic designer. And this is great for you if you've got an eye for aesthetics and you can put those skills to work remotely. From logos to website layouts, businesses always need visual content. And it's the perfect blend of creativity and solitude with an average salary of $66,000 a year. And here's a fresh take on essential skills for budding graphic designers. Get your hands dirty with design software. The more you play, the better you'll get. Train your eye to spot good design everywhere. It's a skill that you can sharpen and hone daily. Also, learn to communicate your ideas clearly because great design is more than just pretty pictures. Lastly, as a graphic designer working from home, pants are optional, but creativity is required. And by the way, I recommend lots of different free resources for how you can learn these different skills, but at the end of the day, you also need to interview well, which is why I personally created a free resource called the Ultimate Remote Job Interview Cheat Sheet. It's packed with the latest tips and tricks to help you shine in your remote job interview. So from nailing your video call setup to answering tricky questions, this guide has got you covered. And you can check that out in the description and the pinned comment below. Bookkeeper is next. And if you're a numbers nerd who prefers spreadsheets to small talk, this could be your dream job. And many businesses outsource their bookkeeping to remote freelancers and some hire people part-time and some hire them full-time. And the average salary overall is $54,000 a year. But there's many different ways you can make money with this. So it's incredibly flexible. Now here's a friendly guide to essential skills for new bookkeepers. First of all, get cozy with numbers and financial statements. Then sharpen your organizational skills since keeping records tidy is just half of the battle. 
Then build a portfolio that shows you know what you're talking about and start applying to jobs. At number five, we've got social media managers. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't social media the opposite of being an introvert? Okay, hear me out. Most of the work is behind the scenes, strategizing and analyzing. And social media managers make around $55,000 a year on average. Now in this position, there's a lot of part-time work, full-time work and freelance work as well. And here are three skills to focus on as you dive into this exciting field. First of all, master the art of engaging content creation by learning how to craft posts that stop scrollers in their tracks. Then get savvy with analytics tools by understanding the numbers behind your posts. Because you can be good without understanding your numbers, but you can never be great. Then develop your community management skills because building relationships with your audience is what turns casual scrollers into loyal followers. So it's the perfect job for introverts who want to seem social without actually having to be social. Next is going to be online tutor. And if you have expertise in a subject, you want to share that knowledge with students worldwide. And platforms like VIP Kid and Chegg make it easy to connect with students and teach from home. And online tutors make around $52,000 a year on average. And here are three essential bullet points to help you on your journey. First of all, learn to explain concepts in simple terms. Use visual aids when needed and adapt your teaching style to each student's needs. Then you wanna get comfortable with various online teaching platforms, troubleshoot common issues, and leverage digital tools to create engaging lessons. Understand that every student learns differently. Stay encouraging during challenging moments and celebrate small victories along the way. Now, if you're finding value in this video, consider sharing it with a friend who might benefit from these jobs as well. Next up is accountant. And this one is similar to bookkeeping, but accounting is great for number loving introverts. And there's many firms that now allow remote work and the median salary for an accountant is $74,000 a year. And believe it or not, you don't need to have an accounting degree to work in many of these accounting related positions. There are some positions that do need an accounting degree and some of them don't. However, in in order to succeed in this role, there are a few things that you do need. First of all, sharpen your math skills. Learn to love spreadsheets and practice analyzing financial data to spot trends and anomalies. Second, understand debits and credits. Learn to create and interpret financial statements and familiarize yourself with accounting software. Third, train yourself to catch small errors and stay organized with meticulous record keeping and cultivate a mindset that values accuracy and precision. Next, we've got data analysts and companies need people who can crunch numbers and spot trends. And as a data analyst, you can work with large data sets from the comfort of your home office. Now the average salary is around $84,000 a year. And that is really good money for a position that doesn't necessarily require a college degree. Now with that being said, I do recommend certifications in this role or certificates. So make sure you check out my videos where I talk about the best certifications and certificates that are available on the market. Now do you want to thrive in this role? Well, focus on these crucial skills. First of all, get hands on with tools like SQL and Excel, learn to clean and organize messy data sets and practice transforming raw information into usable formats. Also, familiarize yourself with key statistical concepts, explore probability distributions, and develop a knack for identifying meaningful patterns in data. Then learn to create clear, compelling charts and graphs, experiment with visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI, and practice telling stories with data. Now, by the way, guys, if you have any experience with these jobs or you know someone who has experience with them, share your thoughts in the comments below because we can all learn something. Next on our list is translate. And if you're multilingual, you can work as a remote translator very easily. And there's also no shortage of content that needs translation and transcription. And most of the work is independent. And translators make about $50,000 per year on average. Now go ahead and check out these key tips to excel in your position. First of all, immerse yourself in both your source and target languages. Then stay updated on the current slang and idioms and practice expressing complex ideas clearly in each language. And go beyond words by understanding the cultural nuances nuances, customs, and context to capture true meaning and the tone of the original text in your translations. Also, familiarize yourself with computer-assisted translation, also known as CAT software, build your translation memory, and learn to use online resources effectively to improve accuracy and efficiency. And then imagine exploring the world's languages without ever having to leave your introvert cave. Seems like heaven, right? Next is customer service representative, and many companies now hire remote reps to handle online chats and emails. So so you can help customers without face-to-face -face interaction. And the average salary is around $39,000 per year. And you can fast track your growth by learning to listen actively, speaking clearly and concisely, and writing professionally 
in emails and chats. You can also practice explaining complex issues in simple terms, and you can put yourself in the customer's shoes, learn to read emotional cues, and develop techniques to calm frustrated clients while maintaining a positive attitude. Also, get comfortable thinking on your feet. Learn to ask the right questions and uncover issues quickly, and familiarize yourself with creative ways to find solutions within company guidelines. And coming in at number 11, you've got transcriptionists. And if you're a fast typer with a good ear, this could be a great fit. Now, it requires focus and attention to detail, two things most introverts often excel at. And the medium annual salary is $43,000 a year. There's also lots of opportunities for freelance, part-time, and full-time work, so it's very flexible. And many people begin their remote work journey as transcriptionists. So here's some tips. First of all, practice touch typing regularly. Aim for at least 70 words per minute and focus on maintaining high accuracy even as you pick up your pace. Second, train your ear to catch nuances in speech. Familiarize yourself with different accents and dialects and learn to decipher unclear audio by using context clues. Third, get comfortable with transcription software. Learn common formatting styles and practice using shortcut keys to improve your efficiency and consistency. Next, you've got virtual assistants. And in this position, you're gonna provide administrative support to businesses and entrepreneurs from your home office. And while most tasks are done online, heads up, some roles might involve occasional phone calls. Despite this, it's still a great way to start in the remote work world with an average salary of $46,000 a year. And typically, you will be interacting with other people, but it's usually the same people over and over again. And here are some guidelines for this position. First of all, organize like a pro. You want to be able to juggle tasks and deadlines with ease. Then you want to master the digital world. From project apps to video calls, it's very important to know how these work. And then you want to communicate clearly and roll with the punches as priorities change. Next, we've got proofreader. And if you're a grammar nerd with an eagle eye for errors, this could be your calling. Proofreaders make about $46,000 per year on average. And here are three things you need to know with this position. First of all, you need to spot errors like a hawk. From typos to wonky punctuation, you are the last line of defense, so do not miss these. Then you want to know your style guides inside and out, whether it's AP, Chicago, or MLA. And you want to be able to read it with fresh eyes every time and catch what others miss. And you get to silently judge people's writing all day and get paid for it. It's an introvert's dream come true. Now, by the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video on 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. It went viral. People absolutely loved it. It's not your typical cookie cutter video. And you can check that out by clicking right here.